Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. So in this episode I will make a comparison between two lightweight superbikes. So in one corner we have the specialized S-Works Atos road bike with the retail price of 13,000 US dollars and in another corner we have the latest greatest giant TCR Advanced SL0 road bike with a retail price of 12,500 US dollars. So first thing first, we need to answer the question who are these bikes for? So you see both uh, Specialized Atos and of course the giant TCR SL are lightweight climbing machines, stiff machines and the design brief was that you know make it as light as possible and also you know as stiff as possible to be normally ridden so definitely these two bikes are aimed at this type of the audience so if you are looking for something really lightweight kind of stiff and nimble then definitely you should shortlist these two super bikes i mean i'm calling them super bikes because when you look at the retail price of course of 13,000 US dollars or 12,500 US dollars, it is absolutely an eye watering price. But this is the state now of the top level of the road bikes you can buy from these big uh, bike manufacturers. Okay, when it comes to the paint schemes on these bikes with the specialized ATOS, there are four paint schemes on offer as I see now. It will, of course, depend a little bit on the sizing of the bike which uh, paint scheme is available but you definitely have this kind of beautiful white uh, silvery paint scheme they call it kind of gloss birch paint scheme then you have this uh, kind of classical i would call it gloss obsidian uh, kind of black uh, paint scheme and then also as i see you have two other paint schemes which is one of this kind of light blue paint scheme or a cool cool gray paint scheme and a very classical kind of totally blacked out uh, paint scheme on this bike so it's very impressive to see that uh, s-works specialized s-works atos still comes with kind of four paint schemes on offer and i believe the main reason is that certain of these bike models are from uh, 2023 year and some of them might be even from the 2022 season so that's like the the big big difference okay now we can dive into the specifications of these bikes and really see what are we gonna get for approximately 13,000 hard-earned US dollars so let's kick off with the specialized S-Works Atos so when you look at this uh, carbon fiber frame in the fork on specialized S-Work Atos, this is the highest level of the carbon fiber frame in the fork that Specialized does. So this is their uh, 12R carbon fiber frame in the fork, uh, lifetime warranty on the carbon fiber frame. Uh, this is 12 millimeters through axles uh, front and the back. And in this case, it comes with the threaded uh, bottom bracket. This is a super light frame. I believe some data is out uh, about 600 something grams for this uh, frame in some kind of size uh, medium which is super super light and this is probably still I would say the lightest uh, carbon fiber frame that we have uh, on the market. So absolutely you know stunning piece of engineering with this carbon fiber frame in the fork there's not much you know I need to add here just superb. When you look at the saddle and the seat post you will get the specialized carbon fiber seat post and also the body geometry specialized saddle which is with all the possible you know carbon uh, bits and pieces when it comes to the handlebar and the stem as you can see this is a pretty nice classical design of the separate pieces for the handlebar and the stem nothing is super proprietary here uh, this uh, stem is an aluminium stem and I believe that these handlebars are going to be the carbon fiber handlebars uh, from Specialized. Also, as you see, the total frame is designed for kind of electronic uh, group set or kind of fully internally routed cables. <clears throat> but it's nice to see here that the hydraulic uh, cables, uh, cables for the hydraulic disc brakes are still a bit routed outside. So it's going to be much easier to service and of course your uh, local mechanics will definitely love you so now on the other hand when you look at the when you look at the giant tcr advanced sl let's talk about this uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork so this is the again most advanced carbon fiber frame and fork that giant does so this is their uh, advanced sl 
carbon fiber frame and the fork. Again, you have a lifetime warranty on this uh, carbon fiber frame. It comes with a press fit bottom bracket and also 12 millimeter true axles front and the back. I will just mention here that when you look at the, this carbon fiber frame, uh, totally internally routed uh, cables if you have any cables and also the big big distinction here is that a giant is uh, still using their uh, kind of one piece uh, carbon fiber integrated seat post so you will definitely need to you know be very precise and cut it to your desired height and of course once when you cut it that's it and if you are reselling this bike of course there is this negative side that only the the, the kind of the riders of the similar height to your can be using this carbon fiber frame. John claims that of course this integrated seat post contributes to the you know a better stiffness of the carbon fiber frame they can make it a bit lighter but there are also some stories that on the previous version of the TCR SL this kind of clamp on the top of the seat post would always make a little bit of problems uh, a bit of movement so people had different solutions how to you know stop it uh, whatever sliding twisting and even damaging this uh, integrated seat post but just keep in mind with this integrated seat post this is a key decision you need to make do you want to you know have it and cut it once for all or you are not a big fan of integrated seat post when it comes to the saddle this is the giant's own production again all the carbon fiber bits and pieces included handlebar and the stem again here a giant is using nicely separate pieces for handlebar and the stem they are all carbon fiber pieces this handlebar and the stem and of course in the future if you need to you know upgrade or change anything it should be pretty uh, straightforward and also with the uh, hydraulic disc brakes and the cables they are running below the handlebar below the stem and then into the frame so again a bit more easier to service and again your local mechanics will will definitely love you so now we can dive into the specifications of this bike a bit more into the details and really see where your hard-earned money is going so when you look at the <clears throat> also the drive chain of this bike <clears throat> specifically for the specialized s-works atos here we are speaking about full Shimano Durais Di2 electronic group set. So this is the creme de la creme, the highest level of uh, Shimano's electronic group sets. This is what uh, professionals are riding and absolutely no, there's no complaints here from me. So the cassette, Shimano Durais 12 speed, electronic uh, group set 1130 cassette, a chain in this instance Shimano XTR, uh, so 12 speed chain from the mountain bike world. Also the crankset Shimano Durace 5236 chain rings and this crankset also comes with the 4i uh, power meter. This is the double sided dual sided power meter, superb stuff. And of course, you know, as I was saying, the shifters front mech and the rear mech, everything in this instance is the Shimano Durace Di2 electronic 12 speed group set, creme de la creme, superb instance. Also, when we look at the giant TCR advanced SL, it also comes with the Shimano Durace uh, Di2 electronic group set, so shifters, front mech, rear mech, 12 speed electronic group set, a crank set, uh, Shimano Durace, cassette Shimano Durace, and this cassette is, is even more uh, beautiful in my opinion in the sense that it is 1134 cassette, so a bit more range, and in this instance also I'm seeing in the technical spec that uh, this uh, crankset comes with the Shimano power meter. So I'm not so sure why Giant is using Shimano power meter because it is uh, very well documented that Shimano power meters are just not precise as they should be. So I wish in this instance that, that this is some kind of 4i power meter and not the Shimano's power meter. But this is something to double check with your a giant bike dealer is it really the the shimano power meter included because in my opinion it's not a very good choice in this instance so again when it comes to the shimano durace di2 electronic group set 12 speed group set absolutely no complaints here from me it is the absolute creme de la creme of electronic shifting when it comes to shimano Okay, now let's talk about the wheel set and the tires on these bikes. So when you look at the uh, Specialized S-Works Atos, it comes with their uh, Roval Alpinist CLX uh, carbon fiber wheel set. So this is a clincher type tubeless ready uh, wheel set. 
it is the uh, kind of the hooked uh, wheel set so not the hookless type that we will see with the with the giant this one has 33 uh, millimeters uh, rim height and it comes with uh, roval uh, hubs afd hubs and as i see on the on the rear wheel it is still the roval afd hub with the carbon uh, with the i'm sorry the ceramic bearings i thought they are using some kind of dt swiss internals but maybe i'm wrong in this instance and of course also the roval, roval afd hub at the front they are using the DT Swiss Aerolite spokes, both the front and the back, where you have a 21 spokes at the front and 24 spokes at the back. So this carbon fiber wheel set uh, Roval Alpinist CLX has a total weight of, I think, approximately 1,250 grams, which is super, super light. Stunning wheel set, absolutely no complaints here. Also, this wheel set is wrapped in the S-Works Turbo tires, so 28 millimeter tires front and the back. Absolute excellent addition here. And I really like it that Specialized has equipped this bike with 28 millimeter tires. Again, it is a good air volume and really a good uh, smooth bike ride. On the other hand, when we look at the Giant, what are the kind of wheels and tires on the Giant? So Giant is using their own Kdex Max 40 wheel set. This is a stunning, stunning piece of engineering. The latest, you know, Kdex Max 40 wheel set. Carbon fiber wheel set, of course, a tubeless wheel set, but this is a hookless wheel set. So with this hookless technology, you just have to be careful uh, which tires are compatible with this wheel set and what's the maximum pressure of these tires you can run. You can find these tables on the, you know, giant slash Kdex website, which tires are compatible. So just keep that in mind that there should be, you know, a specific set of tires, specifically considering the width of the tire which are compatible with this uh, hookless design of the wheel set. There's a lot of discussion why hookless versus hook trims, but probably it only comes down to the hookless design is much easier to produce for the manufacturers, and probably that's the way why all of them are going uh, down that route, probably in the future. Okay, so this wheel set is 40 millimeters high, uh, inner rim width 22.4 millimeters and I will just mention here that these hubs are the Kdex R3 hubs so this is a one piece a carbon fiber hubs with the integrated hub and the spokes about front and the back so, so pretty pretty stunning piece of engineering you have probably seen a similar piece of engineering uh, from the Scott bikes and their uh, they are dedicated wheel system syncros so this is again uh, the ceramic bearings on this wheel set 12 millimeter through axles and it uses the carbon spokes uh, front and the back and this is a very interesting only 16 spokes at the front and you have 24 spokes uh, at the back lifetime warranty on this wheel set and the total weight of this uh, kdex max 40 wheel set is again approximately 1250 grams which is absolutely stunning weight for for this Kdex wheel set and also the Roval Alpinist wheel set. Okay, when it comes to the braking system on both bikes, we are speaking about the Shimano's uh, Dura Ace uh, hydraulic disc brakes uh, front and the back. In this instance, on the giant uh, TCR Advanced SL, also Dura Ace braking rotors, 160 millimeters at the front and unfortunately 140 millimeters at the back. Uh, you know my opinion about these tiny rotors at the back. I think they should be swapped for the 160 millimeter braking rotors just because you will have so much more heat dissipation and stopping powers. But generally speaking, these Dura Ace braking rotors are again a stunning, stunning uh, piece of engineering uh, from uh, Shimano. Also, when you look at the, the, the specialized Atos S works, it seems to me it's the same story. So 160 millimeter braking rotor at the front. Uh, Shimano's Dura Ace level and then a tiny 140 millimeters braking rotor at the back. Again, I just don't understand why uh, bike manufacturers are equipping their, their bikes with these tiny, tiny uh, braking rotors uh, at the back. Also, I just forgot to mention here when it comes to the, the, the giant uh, bike that the tires they are using, I still believe they are from the Kdex. Uh, so the, yes, this is the, the Kdex Race GC tires, tubeless tire, 28 millimeter tire, again, extremely good, you know, uh, width of the tire and a good, good uh, air volume inside and a smooth, smooth bike ride. So now when it comes to the total weight of these bikes, this, uh, 
specialized S-Works ATOS uh, has a claimed weight in some kind of size 56 of about 6.4 kilograms that would be excluding the pedals which is absolutely a stunning stunning bike weight because you need to think about it that the professionals are riding the bikes which are limited minimum weight of 6.8 kilograms so this would basically be you know as it is illegal to ride in these UCI events and also uh, the, the the giant TCR Advanced SL, I would expect it to be on the same levels of approximately, you know, a size 56 or medium large size, somewhere in the region of about 6.4, 6.5 kilograms, excluding uh, pedals. So there's not much in it between these two bikes when it comes to the total system weight, total bike weight, because all of them are just, you know, creme de la creme, top of the line that both manufacturers can do. So in a summary, which of these two bikes should you go for? It is a super hard decision because uh, uh, the price of 13,000 US dollars or 12,500 dollars, it's so close that it really doesn't make any difference. The only, only big difference you need to decide with the giant TCR Advanced SL is that if you want this integrated carbon fiber seat post, are you willing to cut it? And are you willing to, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe have some problems with this clamp at the top? I hope they've sorted it for this newer version. So this is the biggest de decision you need to make with the giant TCR Advanced SL. On the other hand, you know, the S-Works Atos, a proven platform, a proven design, nothing special to complain about. So, so this is kind of the decision you need to make. But in a summary, both of these lightweight super bikes, you definitely won't be disappointed if you go with any of these bikes.